<laughs> didn't go very long before I had to turn the camera on again. I have to be careful now. I don't want to get uh, in trouble. But there's something interesting next to this house right here. If you look down this little alley here, there are two hibachi. I'll, I'll point at them, and then I'll, and I'll talk about them as we go. See them down there at the end? Right there, I'll use my umbrella to point right there. One, two, one, two, right there. See them? Things sticking them. A hibachi, we know hibachi in the West is something that's a grill that we cook things on, but here in Japan, hibachi were uh, charcoal brazers used indoors on tatami mats uh, as hand warmers. Look, there's another way to get across to walk across the tracks. Check this out. Look at the water down below. Look at this. You can just come over and walk across the tracks again. <laughs> I think. Yeah, there it is. Something blocking it, but you can just climb right over there and across you go. Oh, but anyway, hibachis in Japan are, um, were hand warmers. You know, long before central heating or anything like that, and Japan still doesn't really use that. They use, um, uh, you know, air conditioning units per room, they'll heat or cool. Here, you see individually, here, each one of these will cool an individual room. Whereas in the States, in California, I would put, turn the thermostat on and the whole house would get hot or cold. Here in Japan, you have one unit, like this one sticking out there, that heats that room. Very, very clever. I mean, that's, a, that's the way to do it. I mean, that's, that's much more efficient. But in the past, before that kind of stuff was run, you had a little hibachi brazier that you would have in the different rooms. Let's see if we can get there this way. Here we go. Let's try this out. Here goes the train. And those bra brazers would be kept, you could actually have them on the tatami mats, and uh, you would, the charcoal there. And wow, look at that. And um, yeah, heat your, heat your. Uh, there's another old pot from the old days, and heat your hands with it. And you can find these things laying around. Nobody uses them like that anymore. Very few people do. And you can find them laying around. Well, this has been blocked off cleverly. And it says danger. You know, don't go here. And you can get across here. There's the other side there. But pe previously, people would have walked across here. There's a little uh, walkway there. Maybe people walk there. Well, that feels a little bit too much like walking on people's private places, eh? How would you like to walk on people's privates? Ah, so the, that's what that is. And this is an old uh, gas uh, cook right there. That's probably for an old bath area right there. That's where they would stoke the bath. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Lots of old stuff. See, Yui and the old tiles, the old roof tiles. Yui's just full of it, not in the bad way. <laughs> Yui's just full of the greatest things. And we're good. We just we got there with that woman passed by and I didn't wind up filming, filming her. Here's an old uh, incinerator, I'm pretty sure, right there. That's, an old incinerator. It's just things to see everywhere. There's an old swallow's nest, not an old swallow, probably from last season above there. Isn't that cool? And it's good to come and these little shutters closed on this old house. Looks like an abandoned place or empty. Maybe these houses are really crammed in. Look at this place. Wow. Got some masks on there. That's uh, Uso Buki. He's uh, a kind of a, a, a court gesture. Sort of. well, not quite like that. He's kind of a silly guy from the old days. He's got his friend Okame. She's right here. And they're often seen together. She's the goddess of mirth in the Shinto tradition. Lots and lots of interesting stories about her. Here they are together. He's, Ibuki. He's also got another name that starts with an H, but I can't remember what it is. And Okame-san together. This is a Daikoku and Ibisu, two uh, Shinto luck gods. Here is a Jizo-san down here, a stone Jizo. There's a Tokuri uh, uh, sake flask right there. Tenaki, uh, you know, uh, raccoon dog right there. Another Jizo down there. Look at all these interesting things. This person has a very interesting house. More swallows nests. Nice tableau, eh? Oh, I like this bamboo, um, uh, bamboo, um, flower vase. Isn't that nice? I'm sure there's just so, so many neat things to see in there if we spent more time. More swallows nests above. The swallows will be coming soon. And this guy over here has fish going so the, down there. Fish is a fish uh, farm over there. I oh, hear maybe there's a place where I can get the, some uh, something to drink, but I'll hold off till I get to the harbor. You actually get uh, some pretty good uh, um, uh, sakura ebi uh, uh, noodles down there too. Cake shop, kind of a modern style cake shop next to uh, what is that? Uh, uh, fish store? I'm not sure. With a maniki neko. Well, anyway, you can see I could just leave the camera running all day. Very interesting place, indeed. Oh, here's this guy here. I'll see if I can get around him to the dog. Let's try to get it past. There we go. Having fun, walking through Yui, one of my favorite places in all of, all of Japan. Not that I've been to too many places in Japan, but of the places I have been, this is one of my favorites. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. Wow, oh, man, I wish I could have shown you that. I think up here I can head, head, uh, 
over towards the oh fishing port. There it is. See the sign above the uh, above the uh, guy there. It says UE Fishing Port. Now here's these are Fanta, but they've got the cans. I want the bottles. Here's an old store here, an old market right there. Closed. Aha! Here's the way to the UE, the fishing port. I want to show you that sign. I didn't want to take a picture earlier with the uh, postman there. You see the sign right there? Now there's the cars coming and a little kid. I have to be careful. I don't want to make people uncomfortable. Last thing I want to do. Ah, oh, there's kids and people coming everywhere. I can't. But there's a sign that says UE Fishing Port. And this is the way to the UE Fishing Port. With a very interesting little tunnel going underneath the uh, railroad tracks. Now let's see what happens when a, when a, when a mini car meets a mini car coming through the rye. <laughs> what literary, liter, literary uh, references am I, am I coming up with in these strange times? There goes uh, through the tunnel. And here's a, here's a stone here. Actually, this is probably uh, not a Jizo. Well, it could be. You know, it could be just one of those old, really, the barrier border markers marking an area of a community which had their roots in phallic symbols, of all things. Yes, indeed. Wow. Stone stone phallic. I mean, hey, if you're going to reference something as a, as a weenie, then, then a stone might be the one. Am I crossing the line? Am I say, talking too bad? Is that a worm? No. What am I doing? Okay, here we go. Let's go on through. Stream of consciousness, railroad tracks above. It would be fun to stand under their world. The express train came by. Here we are in the UE fishing port, eh? Cool. Okay, now here we go. Here is the uh, railroad thing, but it's also the uh, tsunami wall there. But you can see a tsunami would pour right through there. Here we go. There's uh, places over here where they process the fish. There's a uh, a number, there's sometimes there's some really cool fish right over here. Schools of fish hanging out. Let's see if we can see any. Although the uh, dappling uh, water, there's a little inlet here. I don't see them. Usually there's a, uh, well, sometimes there's a school of fish right there. Anyway, this is Yui Harbor. Look this up on uh, Google Maps if you like. Look for a Yui Japan. Oh heck, yeah, maybe I'll uh, try to put, if I, when I get back and upload this, I'll try to remember to put the GPS coordinates in as well. Let's take a look at these uh, Japanese fishing boats. Aren't these cool? Now Japanese fishing boats are long and fast versus uh, broad and slow. Uh, my dad was a, uh, uh, a navigator. Look at they're all moving. He was a navigator or, he, or I don't know what it was. He drove a, a big, Coast Guard cutter. He said, we knew all about boats. And he told me this a long time ago. He said, uh, with, why are they all moving? <laughs> now they're going to come to a stop. The rope's stopping them. And he told me that uh, boats, uh, that if they're long and narrow, they'll go fast. It's just uh, something about the way they work versus, uh, uh, but they won't be as stable in uh, rough seas. They'll be kind of moving around. Whereas uh, broad and, and uh, wide is... Uh, like we have in the West is more stable but slower. And true to form, these things are really fast. They really move out. It's like a kind of a um, kind of a, a burner there, doesn't it? Indeed. Lots of little nets here. Let's look at the. Uh, well, there's the uh, the captain's or the driver's uh, seat with all the controls there. Very nice. Big lights. Need to uh, draw the uh, shrimp. Big uh, net there as well. Lots of. Uh, racks of things there. All the boats are tied up here. It's a Saturday. They're not out. Interesting stuff. Very, very interesting. And here's where they would uh, be working. They tie them up here and they would be uh, processing their catch right over here. Can I get a Fanta grape here? No, no Fanta grape here. Their office. Very interesting. And the inlet is over there. Now to see the wives I'd have to go around the corner and I can do that. I know how to get there. Actually, I know a secret way through the water, but I don't know if I can get there that time. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. <laughs> here we go, and uh, right over here is, uh, there's the uh, Tomei Expressway there, and Route 1, or vice versa, I'm not quite sure. And a restaurant over there, we'll go walk up and see it. May, it may be closed, but anyway, I've got sandwiches, so. <laughs> lots of lots of boats. We'll go walk around the edge, shall we? Take a look. Okay, there's the restaurant. Stick with me if you like, and then we can take a look at that restaurant, and then I'll shut the camera off, give you guys a break as I, uh, as I meander around to the other side. Look at that, isn't that interesting how they've uh, draped the, uh, 
uh, floats off of the bow of the uh, fishing boat there. Isn't that interesting? Indeed. Really cool. These ships are, uh, or boats are really well maintained. Is it a ship or a boat? I thought I heard somewhere that a ship was something that a boat could sit in, but a, a boat, a ship, a boat can sit in a ship, but a ship can't sit in a boat. If you get what I mean, you could put a boat in the back of this ship, and that would designate that as a ship, and the other one as a boat. Or is it all semantics? Look at this, how they have the uh, lighting with the uh, the rig to, uh, you know, I guess pull the net in and out. Can you see the propeller down there? Not quite. And here we have the restaurant, the uh, Sakura Ebi restaurant. You can get the, sh I'll show you right here, which you can get here. I already packed my lunch, so I won't get it, but it's very, very good if you do. This is the uh, Sakura Age, the, uh, it's like a tempura of the Sakura Ebi on rice. Uh, with so uh, soba or udon, so this is on top of the uh, noodles. Uh, miso with the ebi in it, and different types of dish. Very good prices too, 700 yen for a bowl of soba. That's all right. That's not bad. And over here, can I get my uh, Fanta grape? Still no Fanta grape, but an interesting sign there, eh? Oh, it's like a fish market, huh? Yeah, with the sakura ebi. Isn't that interesting? Cultural bits everywhere, here and there, everywhere. Okay, everybody. Well, I'll turn the camera off for now. We have a rendezvous, a rendezvous on the other side to go see the, uh, let's go see the, the open ocean and the waves, shall we? Okay, let's do it.